It looks like we're working again, maybe. <laughs> um, okay, so welcome back. We're gonna try to get this live going again. Um, Keely is going to share this in the Tumblr groups so that y'all can see it. And yeah, so hopefully the connection's better. I think we just lost signal here in the area for a minute. So hopefully it doesn't go out again. So hi everybody. We're gonna sit tight for another few minutes which is no big deal because this epoxy is a long working time. And it looks like a lot of you are jumping right back on. So that's good. Um, so yeah, where was I? Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera back down. This is so fun. Yay! And we're gonna go with this. Okay, so as I was saying before we lost signal, we're gonna go with this tumbler. We're going to do garnet and champagne. So to do this, I need more paper. All right, we are going to, yep. Start with the garnet, go from here into about kind of the middle and then this part to here's gonna be champagne. And then we're going to bring in the silicone shaker tool that everybody doesn't know how to use. And, well not everybody, but a lot of you. So, let's get started and hope the internet stays working. All right, fancy. Okay, so we're gonna start with garnet and go, like I said, work to about this far up the cup. And I realize this looks crooked, but it's the camera's just kind of swirly right now. So anyway, let's just get started. I love this color. Any red makes me happy. Okay, I don't normally use a shaker. Hello, hello, hello. I'm, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do this the way that I prefer. Bottom is always the tough part. This is kind of a fun one because it's also showing you how to do a wine tumbler with a stem. Okay. Let me slide my paper down. Uh, probably shouldn't put that on my epoxy. So, um, as I was saying, I'm using garnet. We're gonna go from here to about the middle here. I just have to finish getting this on the bottom of the cup. The hardest part's gonna be this little rim. I feel like this goes through so much extra glitter, but that's okay. So how has everybody been doing? It's been a while since I've done a live, so. I've missed y'all. I know I missed a spot. Where'd it go? Okay. Oh my goodness, so much glitter. All right. Okay. So now we're gonna get to all the best parts of the cup, which are the most important. So when you do this, you're gonna wanna go up to about, break it into kind of like two thirds. So you got top third, middle third, this is the bottom third. It, don't worry about this part down here because that's not part of really where you're trying to ombre. Sorry guys, I'm in a good mood. So much going on in here. Got machines running. And let's see, there's a spot that was missed. Let me see. I'm looking. Should have done a black, I mean a red base, but then I'm using silver at the top. So I don't know if there's a little 
little bit on the edge. All right. So we have our top art to like the bottom third of the cup right there. And then I'm going to put that back in the jar. And now we're going to start from this part right here. So, and I'm using the epoxy method. So this is going to spread and you'll see it kind of grow that direction. So now we're gonna use champagne for the top part and you're just gonna go through here and sprinkle it. Just like you would do any other top of the tumbler. I'm having a hard time throwing glitter tonight. The color is so pretty. Okay, ta-da, okay, I'm not done, I promise. Gotta <laughs> keep going. It's gonna be one of those great cups that you put that nice, like, you know, a day drinker type of tumbler, or especially nowadays, everyone, it's okay to day drink. All right, so now we've got top, and then this is blank. Obviously, it's got no glitter on it yet. And what I'm going to do, goodness gracious, whoops. Now what you're gonna do is take a little bit of the top, a little bit of the bottom, and mix it together to make kind of like a, a mix of the two, whoops. Okay, with the new turners, uh -huh. can you take the arms off to change cups for glitter bases? Um, no. Not, I mean, yes, you can, but they have, um, there's a plastic piece inside which is holding the arm to the uh, cup turner, which will make it a little difficult. Okay, so you have your little tool pop it open. You're going to put the glitter in here. And so right now my mix that I've put together is a lot of, uh, it's more of the gold. So what you're going to, oh goodness, to do now is <laughs> take this, which is, you just hold it like this and start giving it a little tap. And what it'll start doing is just very gently put the red in with the gold. These are fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, the white, this base coat I put on here is just a flat white paint. Not anything super fancy, it's just a flat paint so that it's a, uh, What's the right word? Um, then it really, like I can use, I use white base paint for a lot of what I make for cups because to me it just kind of, it's one of those, it's good for just about every kind of color. Um, unless I'm doing something different with like Tears of My Enemies or uh, any of the other iridescent type mixes. So now we're gonna make this a little bit more red. Caught it. Um, also, you can always do it with, um, what's the right word? Where you can ombre the spray paint and that way you can do both colors and it makes it look a lot cleaner. If you're gonna do like, you can do like say, Tears of My Enemies or Unicorn Sweat, any of those mixes and do the ombre of the spray paint or whatever paint you use as your base. And when you do that, you end up actually ombreing out a mix or an iridescent color, and it ends up making it look like two different mixes when it's just one. Ta-da, and I don't know how well y'all can see how well that's mixing, but these things just make it super easy to ombre it out. 
And I'll have to post pictures of these tomorrow so y'all can really see how well they look. Um, but I mean, that looks really good. I like these new lights. So these things are really easy to use. Um, we have them on our website and I'm gonna open it again and it's gonna go everywhere. What is a cheat glitter? That is um, an iridescent or, so some companies call them iridescent. Some people call them rainbow, which is what we call them. Others call them opals. Um, they're any of the of the glitter that's gonna be trans uh, transparent in color. So that way it picks up whatever the base color is. And it's kind of a nice little different, it just, cause you can use it and make different colors and stuff out of using one glitter, which is always nice. So there we go, we've got our first cup, and that is the garnet and champagne, which looks awesome. I think it turned out quite nice. So that's that one, and tomorrow I'll put on another coat of epoxy, and it'll look amazing. So now, this one is a sippy cup, and I'm torturing somebody here, because it's gonna, it's a sippy cup. No one here has any young, young babies, but, I wanted to show you guys a new color we came up with because we were really, we've been playing with our new machine like super crazy. And we found out something fun that it can do. It can mix its own glitter. <laughs> so we kind of goofed around and made um, a couple of mixes that are ultra fine where we mix some holographic glitter in with them in the machine just to see what they turned into. And well, I'm not gonna lie to you, they're kind of amazing. So, whew, that is good. I'm going to show you guys. I'm just gonna slide the turner. That's easier. Turn this down a little bit more, less on my face, but that's okay, right? Oh goodness, it won't turn. Here we go. Whew, almost got my shirt. Woohoo, didn't. Yay, okay. So this is a sippy cup and we are going to do my favorite white, which is ice cream. And what we've called now is Murphy's Law Mix. This is Murphy's Law mixed with Peridot in it. And it's a mix. And it's, so it's got a little bit of a green sparkle to it, like a holographic sparkle, but it's still just as sparkly as ever. And I love it. And I feel like making a John Deere tractor sippy cup because why not? Just a little bit of, everybody likes a good John Deere tractor. So this is, you know, kind of a fun little thing to do. Oops. And I've actually never done a sippy cup, but it's just like a wine cup, so. Why not? Why not? Wine not. Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh, we love puns. All right. So we're just gonna put the epoxy on in a nice thin layer. Yes, I am drinking Corona because Keely brought them. Well, somebody brought them, but Keely opened up. <laughs> it's been a long, it's been a long, you know, two months, month? I don't even know. It's still March, right? No, it's April. It is April. <laughs> I can't keep track anymore. One of my birthday was a few weeks ago, I think. But I think I skipped this year. I get a do-over. All right. It's been a very long year. I think my favorite memes that I'm seeing are the one about, you know, the, this week's been a long year. Yeah. <laughs> it's now it's kind of more like these past few weeks have been a long decade. 2020 needs a do-over. That is for sure. Okay, so again, using the same epoxy. Oh my goodness, now my nose is super itchy. Okay. Oh, goodness, glitter in the nose. All right, so this is a hog, uh, what is it? Eight ounce trainer sippy cup. These are adorable. They come with the little top and the little handle. And yeah, I got some epoxy on my football. Do, 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 ew. Uh, all right, let's do this. Okay, so like I said, we're going to do this new Murphy's Law mix, and it's gonna be awesome. 
so excited. So we're gonna do the white on the top and then the green to the middle. And we're gonna leave this little section here. I'll have another little shaky thing here. And we're just gonna go with it and do it the right way. So this again, this is a mix of Murphy's Law with um, Peridot it's, or Peridot, depending on who you talk to and the wording. Uh, <laughs> but uh, this will be available on Friday as well as we did a mix of it with, um, with Vivian as well. We were playing with the greens in the machine. So here we go. Murphy's Law new hollow mix. Um, and this is a limited one. I mean, we may make more of it depending on if people really like it, but uh, I think it looks pretty. Green's not my favorite color, but it's definitely up there. There's a lot of people left here that work here with the last name Green or Green Link. So, and it's that gorgeous green. <gasps> I bet it is. I'll give him the cup. He can sit. He can sit at his desk and drink out of this. <laughs> hey, after some of those days, it might be needed. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Lately, I think everybody needs a sippy cup. All right, so we're just gonna try to get as even of a line as we can, and that's good enough. Sweet. Oh, I love it because you just get a little bit of that holographic sparkle. And there's way too much stuff in my way. I got it. Got it. Ignore me making noise. Um, we don't know if we can mix the oh, are you we can mix you can mix chunky and fine glitter to do this. Um, but with the shakers, I don't know how well it would work with I don't think the chunky glitter will come out of the uh holes the holes are pretty small on this one but uh maybe all right so now we're gonna do ice queen up top again this is my favorite white i know a lot of people really love pearl but ice queen's just a good white with enough sparkle to really get you going ice queen's been my favorite it's one of my the first colors we started to carry and i can't get over how much i love it Like little ice crystals. I hope y'all have been getting to craft a lot and make your tumblers. This is one of the few things I think that's keeping a lot of people sane right now. If I was stuck in my house all day, that's what I do. I'd hide in my garage and make cups. I love my family, but sometimes we just kind of need a break. All right. So I did see a place on here where the green's not quite. There it is. It's showing to y'all. All right. So there's the green. And yes, I did mix the two in here. But that's okay because they're all going to go in a cup anyway. All right. So now we're going to take this. I'm gonna pour it in there. Do, 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 do. And I've lost my white. Okay. And um, I always save, whenever I do an ombre, I always save the uh, extra glitter because then I can turn it into a mix or something later. Or I give it to my daughter and she can make slime with it. Just different, a million different things. That needs a little more, a little more white. That'll do. All right, so now we're gonna do this. Um, hope I bought the honey. Who almost did that backwards? I bought the honeycomb alcohol ink um at Hobby Lobby, but that was also like a year ago. Um, I don't know if Jim if Holt still makes that color. If not, you can always use sunshine, I believe. But okay, so there's the chunk. This is now full. So this one, you really should be able to see the ombre go through because it's the white glitter. I've also, this is gonna be a really silly like hack that I've learned. Um, if you really wanna get the glitter really spread well so that it looks more 
ombre, you hold the higher up you hold it, the more random the glitter falls. <laughs> that sounds so weird to say because it comes more floaty. And uh, so yeah, you just kind of hold it up a little bit higher. So I'm only right now about like eight inches above the cup. And you just kind of go with it. <laughs> it's almost done. <gasps> Judy's so excited. Hey, I just tested out Chunky. Does Chunky work? Yes. Chunky will go through. Sorry, I haven't used him for oh, for Chunky before. Not as well as me. Yeah. All right, so now I'm adding a little bit more green. Try to help that one. And that's why, again, this is why I like to use the epoxy method, because then you've got a lot more play time. I feel like that maybe, that should work. Oh my gosh. Just so you know, I am covered in glitter. So much glitter that I'm covered in right now. Do, 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 do. I don't know why that's in my head right now. Oh my God. Hi, Wanda. Hi, Wanda. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, that's my mom. I'm assuming that's my mom. Uh, if it's I'm not, I'm sorry. It is. <laughs> if it wasn't, I'm sorry, but hi to you anyway. <laughs> Hi, everybody. All right, so now we're just gonna keep going. This will be such a cute John Deere cup. Okay. Well, she can have the sippy cup. I don't think your daughter needs a sippy cup. Then Judy, you can have the sippy cup. I need a sippy cup. What happened? So see, it's got that nice, smooth ombre now that's running through the cup. Yay for smooth ombres. The white, you can really tell like how well it's, it's run through. I saw a spot, I think. Maybe not, oh, here comes the train. There it is, all right. Do, do, do. Brittany said make a Tiger King cup. Make a Tiger King cup? Oh. I don't know. I've thought about it. There's so many other cups though that I need to make right now. A pit like ombres. All right, ta-da! There we go. All right, so let's say, <laughs> you may, I've watched Tiger, Healy has not seen Tiger King and she refuses to watch it. I think it's funny. So, views, I just, yeah, don't want to. I feel like I'm so late in the game. It's only like seven episodes, eight now, but because they made a new one. Big, I think they made a new one. Big I don't know. It's not a big, com not nowadays, it's not. <laughs> um, I'm ready to get next month's sub box. Oh, ne next month's sub box is going to be hot, but not for the reason that you think. It's a theme this month too done themes for the past three months and this one's called American Summer. Hopefully we get a summer. <laughs> we get to do things outdoors with people. No matter what the temperature will be. The summer. temperature will definitely be summer. All we need now is for you know it to be like a thousand degrees outside. So okay so here we go we've got um when were we thinking get a very light blue. So Rhonda I think you're talking about the blue we just did, what, I don't remember what it's called. Powder blue, blue, pow yeah, powder blue. Um, probably next week that will be back in stock. So here we go. We've got two tumblers, very easy to, you know, these are very easy to do. In order to clean these out, and I have seen quite a few people complain that they're kind of weird to clean out, just warm water Dawn dish soap and use your finger and this stuff will clean right out. Whoa as I drop it. I need to stop drinking. I mean, you can clean the inside of these out just giving them a little tap, rinse them out with water. But uh, yeah, just use warm water and soap and they'll come right out. I'm going to turn the camera back up though without touching anything or trying to not get glitter on. Brittany said baby wipes work good too. Oh, really? Baby wipes. I never thought about baby wipes. So what's a good teal mix? Urban Cowgirl. That is the best 
it's a good Tiffany teal color too. Um, I would say Urban Cowgirl, and that's coming back in stock tomorrow night. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, some like it hot. Check back next week. We've got a lot going on this Friday, next Friday, next Friday's gonna be crazy. This Friday's gonna be really crazy. Which one? Oh man, everyone here said Monday's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Shipping on Monday is going to be insane. Make a cup that says, hey, all you cats and kittens. <laughs> you have to understand that when, okay, so let's go back about a hundred years. When I was in college at Sam Houston, I majored in radio and television, and Sam Houston State University's mascot is the Bearcat. So when I used to host, oh my God, when I used to be a DJ for the radio station, I would say, hey, all you cool cats and kittens. And I, <laughs> well, I can't, I mean, <gasps> there is. I am telling him the world of my stories and I got in trouble for saying it because to call girls kittens can be offensive. I was told not to do that anymore. <laughs> so I can't, if I did, I would have to like, put like a little sensor bar over the word kittens. Yes, that's right. I got in trouble for that because the radio station has played to the prison. And <laughs> anyways, that was a long time ago. <laughs> I wish it was a long time ago, it really wasn't. How long? Oh my gosh, I'm old. Aw, oh, that's thanks. They still love me. Thank you guys. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> but it's because I did. So no, I can't do that. If I made a Tiger King cup, it would be a rainbow one. And I'd try to go with like a Lisa Frank vibe <laughs> with tiger stripes. <laughs> Lisa Frank was awesome. Can you do a second layer of ombre if it doesn't look flowy? Yeah. <laughs> She's making fun of me like I like I brought it back in for the video. Like, let's bring it back, girl. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I wasn't. I'm just answering questions. Oh, my goodness. Oh, do a video on how to balance the cup? Ooh. That's kind of a weird one. So I made a cup last night, and <laughs> I thought it was balanced. It wasn't. It didn't turn out horrible but it didn't turn out like I wanted. Can you grab that cup for me, Keely? Can you walk? Oh my God. Adam, if you're watching, you're gonna have to pick up your wife. <laughs> How do you not know where that thing is? I don't know, there's like a million it's, cups in this place. There is a million cups in, in here. Million. Keely's gonna make me sell them all again soon. Yes, I am. So I was trying to do a beach cup the, last night with, um, micas because we're gonna make a beach mica pack and anyways there's all the sand <laughs> because my cup will see if you even look it's got the bulge on the bottom yeah it was just like a hair canted so all of my sand is on the bottom and <laughs> here's the rest of it <laughs> so now I have a very good underwater cup and I'm not necessarily I'm not mad about the white showing from the base coat it's just this is this sucks that's a lot of epoxy to sand. <laughs> but if I dremel it, it might not be bad. But I think it's funny. Cheyenne here said that I, she would turn this into like a what was it, a scuba t a scuba cup, because then you still have that little sand surprise at the bottom. I don't know. What? Oh! <laughs> a door opened. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, um, I use now using our, the artist resin medium viscosity um i buy the gallon um i also started using the um fast set when i can get it and i love it hey keely doesn't still set days out for delivery i don't know what that means okay. I, I was asking her a question okay you're good so yeah oh yeah so that was that was super fun oh i'm glad you like the wall we love it do a beach tutorial. I will apps, I will do a beach tutorial. Um, just I'll make sure my cup is uh, is level next time. I also have this teeny little bump here now, but that's okay. So, yeah. Okay. So when will cake pop be back in stock? We've had quite a few people asking for cake pop. 
Um, we're waiting on it to come in. It hasn't arrived yet, but that's one of those super high priority. Yay, Judy! She just finished filling Jinx for everybody. So Judy's the hero. Judy's the hero, guys. You have no idea how much she filled. Oh, I should tell everybody. We have 1,700 jars of Jinx going online, and it's all thanks to Judy. So thank you, Judy. That only took you how many days? <laughs> two. Only, only two days. days. That's impressive. Dang. Thank you. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Yeah. I don't think anybody's ever filled that much of... of Judy has. Yikes. So, yeah. Everyone says, yay, Judy. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, you, you get full credit. I was going to swoop, swoop in like the last five and say I did it. Like tried to do to me. Jerk. I wasn't going to give you that. <laughs> <laughs> Judy would be on her deathbed and still trying to finish Jinx. Yes. So yeah, 1,700 jars of Jinx will be online tomorrow night. I hope that doesn't sell out because if so, I'm, I don't know what to do. But I think we're going to make some really fun packs tomorrow. I think a pack should be Jinx and Chaos. Oh boy. Oh, are they similar? Is that what they're asking? They're asking to see a difference. Oh, yeah. Oh boy. Okay. One is more blue, one is more purple. I don't know my alphabet. Chaos. A, B, C. There's J. Chaos is more purple. <laughs> oh my god. J. Uh, Jinx. Oh my gosh, like a thousand over here. Oh, just just, yeah, like I guess, because then I have to go way over there. Okay. This is going to sound weird when I explain the color difference between the two. Because there is a... Oh boy. All right, so Jinx... Wait, that's Chaos. So Chaos is more of a pink... God, my nose. So Chaos is more of a pinkish purple... This is a real word, pinkish purple, versus Jinx is more purple. No, I think Jinx is more blue and Chaos is more purple. Well, no, I think so, so. Oh. we have three people weighing in on this one. Sorry. So Jinx has is more purple of a shift, purple to blue shift. I'm trying to see if I, there we go. Purple yes. to blue and Chaos is much more purple to like a teal, like a light purple, not light purple, purpley pink to teal. Yeah. So I'm trying to show you. It's not very easy to show, but it's, they're different. <laughs> I promise. Trust me, because when Chaos came in, we actually thought it was Jinx until we compared them side by side and they're not. But Jinx is more purple to teal, like purple to blue, and Chaos is more of a purpley pink to teal, or blue, teal. Shoot. No more drinking. <laughs> you haven't even drank. I know, I've only had half. Not even half. Oh, whatever. Then it's the fumes. I'm going with the fumes. So, there you go. Not the fumes. I, could, I'm right here. I know, there is no fumes. That's why I like this I epoxy. I think it's just Thursday and we work a lot of hours. I don't even know what day it is. The other day I thought it was Tuesday, it was Wednesday, and that just throws off the whole week. Whole week. Never know anymore. Okay. Pastels should be back next week. Next week. Rainbow Neon mixes next week. Um, you can order the epoxy from its, uh, what's their web address, Cheyenne? CC, CCDIY.com. And it's their medium viscosity one. And yes, Hades will be back in stock. Woohoo! And there's a whole bunch of that going in stock too. And so is Athena, right? Yeah, Poseidon's already in stock. Um, there will be a limited number of pencil packs, but we're uploading, like, holy crap, a lot. How many? Over 200. Over 200 of the pencil packs. Um, so, yeah, there's going to be a lot of those. And we're going to try to get as much as we can done between tonight and tomorrow. Um, yes, the Rainbow Mixologies will be back next week. And we should do the... If if we're able to get them all, we'll yeah. do a pack. If we are, we'll get a pack. Megan, we do not have Tang. Um, it's It hasn't come in yet, but we do have Zesty going in stock tomorrow, which is this really nice orange, which is very good, similar orange to yeah. Tang. Tang is... So little, Zesty's just a little bit brighter, darker. 
I promise, I'm trying. I can know my letters. So this is Tang and, sorry, this is Tang and Zesty. And so Zesty is just a hair darker, but I'm wondering. Pumpkin's actually a really good sub for Tang. God, yeah. that light is like stupid bright. So that's a good one. Um, also, if we can finish it, Blue Me Away will be back in stock. But we haven't announced that color yet. No, we're still working on it. We're still it. working yes. on that one. Um, but the gangsters and divas are coming back again soon. And seriously, oh no, is this so itchy? Um, the pastels will be back in stock too very soon. Um, yep. So anyways, that's pretty. Brittany wants to know if you have to order a shaker for every glitter. Nope. Every they glitter. all come already bottled in shakers. And <laughs> electric blue. Have we done? We don't have, we haven't. Uh-uh. I don't think. Huh? I don't think it's come in yet. Blue Me Away is coming back though. And we can see what other blues. We have a lot of greens, a lot Grover. of reds. Grover's coming Ooh, Grover's back. coming back tomorrow night. Grover's probably my favorite blue. Really? Huh. I don't know. I didn't know we did that one. Yeah. Oh. Grover's coming back, which is close. And Blew Me Away, which is a good dark Astros blue for those of you who've been asking me for Astros colors. Hint, hint, pumpkin and, uh, and Blew Me Away are the perfect Astros colors. Yes. You know, because sports are not happening, and I miss sports. I miss sports. XFL's gone. Oof. Okay, uh, hummingbird. It's a bird. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kidding. <laughs> what? I had to. Uh, hummingbird is a really nice dark, like, teal. Right? It's on my dump cup cup. Just turn around and pick it up. It's on my dump cup cup. <laughs> turn. There literally are hundreds of cups just all over the warehouse. <laughs> do, do, do. We're going to be selling them soon, so y'all stay tuned. This is Hummingbird with Dump Cup. Oh my. Huh? I love Hummingbird. That's one of my favorites. I have a really hard time, though, between this and, uh, what's the right word I'm looking for? Seaweed. Mm. Another really good dark green. We all know my favorite color is Boomer. Okay, so anywho, it's getting late. Bye, Judy. Thank you for being amazing. You Bye. too, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Judy. But Judy's better. <laughs> um, so, yes. Um, da, da, da. What is the best mint colored glitter? Minty Fresh. Um, we're also working on getting another cool... Um, mint color i think that came in i can't remember because we have had so many come in i don't even know anymore so um licorice we're working on getting back we're just waiting for part of it to get here and then we'll be able to pack it and load it and go good to go what's a good blue with cocoa puffs brown and blue hello tiffany's oh caribbean okay it's it's a tealy color but it looks good it's a very good nose will not stop itching this is cocoa puffs and caribbean but you could also do tiffany teal or or yeah sorry hello tiffany's tiffany teal it looks good to go with hummingbird huh beaches. beaches also arctic is a good one so that's cocoa puff and um i'm like blanking caribbean <laughs> i don't know anything anymore okay so yep Oh, thanks, Debbie. We're glad you found us, too. So anyways, my nose will not stop itching. Oh, my goodness. Is ocean coming back? Yes, it is. It's somewhere over there. Way over there. I just need to... We have to get it filled. We actually have a list of, like, colors that are coming, that are here, and we're trying to get filled. Huh? It will be? I'm thinking ocean treasures. We did do Ocean. Oh, Ocean will be back tomorrow. Tell them to look at the list on Facebook. Yeah, we did post the list already on Facebook. And check back for an updated and, one yeah, tomorrow afternoon. We will have an updated list tomorrow afternoon. Um, so we will be doing that soon. 
um, campfire. We're waiting on two colors to come in for that mix because we do make that one in house because it was it's a munchkin a munchkin mix. Wow. So it should be back very soon. Um, we're just like I said, waiting on two parts of it to come in so we can mix it up and get it back online. Um, so otherwise, um, that's hold on. I'm super excited that you know where Mountain Home. I do. I love Idaho. It's a very beautiful place. The Clearwater River Valley is one of my favorite places. The uh, website for the epoxy is cc. DIY.com. Yeah. And, uh, oh my goodness. And if you join their Facebook page, um, and again, I'm not affiliated with them, but if you join their Facebook page, they actually post, um, announce whenever they get their fast set in because that stuff sells out quickly. Um, but their, their shipping is super fast. I've been to Twin Falls. They have a Sonic there. I don't know if they do now still, but they did when I went there. Um, and uh, Mountain Home, Arkansas. I know where that is because we just got back from there, well, a few months ago. But we were there. We enjoy going to Gaston's Lodge because we can fly up in there. So, anyways, um, that's all I've got for tonight. Let's do these two cups real quick and show you guys how easy these little shaker things are to use and love these these things are great um especially if you kind of have a hard time with doing like a normal um ombre without doing those i prefer to use the tools just because it saves me trying to sit there and perfectly layer it so anyways uh, for those of you who are just joining the video will be still online so you can always come back and watch it um anyways uh so that's what I got for tonight. So I hope if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, feel free to, you know, hit the subscribe button for those of you who are new. So you're always up to date on when we have new videos. So, yep, and ring the bell so you do get the notifications to uh, any of our new videos. We're going to try to do another video, I think, next week. Because um, everyone's asking for a beach cut one. So we'll do a beach cut next week. Maybe with Micah. And it'll be so fun as long as I can keep the cup on there straight. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! So you guys have a great night and we will talk to you guys again later and I'll make sure to get a picture of the cups done tomorrow when I get the final coat of epoxy on them. And you guys have a great night. Stay safe. For those of you who are at home, um, remember to stay inside, do your part and stay healthy. First responders and nurses and doctors who are working. Super awesome. Thank you so much for all that you do. And we will get you guys, yep, all of the orders out on Monday and Tuesday, hopefully. So y'all have a great night and we will see you guys again very, very soon. Bye y'all.